Hello guys, so continuing my summer style law series, today we're going to talk about Dramatic Classic Body Type. If you're new to my channel, I'm going to leave the link on my kitty playlist down below. If you are a Dramatic Classic, you know that you are quite balanced and a little bit angular on top of that. You're structured, more or less moderate and everything, and quite symmetrical looking. You are probably a little bit broad or a little bit sharp. So best outfits for you would be clean, structured, symmetrical, balanced, and a little bit sharp. So in general, they can pull off long vertical line, meaning head to toe, same color or same shape or something very long to the bottom. They don't have to have waist emphasis. If they do have waist emphasis, it's preferably that it would not cut their body into two pieces too obviously, with two obvious color blocks or two different shapes, like a cinched waist and huge bouffant skirt. Everything that is too puffy, too bouffant, too voluptuous. This is gonna create a little bit of contrast between their angularity and their straightness and that soft, rounded and very prominent shape. Normally dramatic classics are not very prominent themselves. They are not voluptuous, not lush. So for them, something that would have a little bit less volume would be much better. If they're choosing summer dresses, Basically, any length would fit to them. Maybe, as I said just now, not that Disney princess dress, but even that depends on occasion, depends on fabric, color, and many other things. They look great with structure also. More stiff fabrics, fitted shoulders, something that keeps its shape, something that looks slightly vertical rather than horizontal. But at the same time, if they want to go for very weightless dresses with some ruffles in it even, something that is made with see-through transparent fabric, chiffon dresses, something like that. It's better if it has good shape, narrow shape, if the shoulders are in its place, it's not super bouffant and flowing, so it's closer to the body, and preferably in contrasted color with their skin, with their eyes, with their hair, because contrasted colors normally have a tendency to make things more precise, more structured looking. Because same flowing dresses with this chiffon fabric look slightly different if they are made in beige color, or with loads of draping, or they have watercolor water blend print. So prints also matter, but I'm gonna talk about it later. If it's a short dress, would be good if they go for something straight and structured, something like Twiggy 60s. The length depends on your preference, of course. Uh, I know many women who just don't like mini. That is for you to decide, but if we're only talking about the body structure, bone structure and proportions, you can definitely go for that quite stiff short dress. If this dress has color blocks, especially slightly high-waisted, and has A-line trapeze skirt, they can look slightly not for them. The legs, arms can look longer, they can look more angular just in general, and it can look slightly disproportionate, slightly too smallish for them. They look better in more moderate in size pieces, nothing too much, nothing too short or staccato looking. It's kind of too much baby doll for them. If mid-length, basically any dress looks good on them, except for maybe again, as I said, this Buffon Disney Princess skirt. Just choose something narrower, and in this case, whether it's straight or has some waist emphasis, it's gonna be good. And again, something more structured, more stiff looks a little bit better on them rather than something extremely soft. Color blocks also okay because dramatic classics normally need that contrast. They need that contrasted trim, especially by their face. It gives them a lot of life and elegance, and even some boldness. Mid cuff length also can look amazing. And again, if not too bouffant, not too draped, slightly narrower would be better. If it doesn't have any waist emphasis, make sure that around the waist it's not too bulky and too baggy looking. Even if you don't go for waist emphasis sometimes, it's still better if it's slightly narrower around the waist. Also, if you are going for mid-cuff lengths, check how wide your cuffs are. Some women, especially if they're wearing flat shoes and dress that ends on the middle cuff, they find themselves looking quite squarish and stocky. Just check for that thing. If you don't feel like your cuffs look wider with this kind of length, then you might feel great with flat shoes, because normally proportionately they can pull that off. And if you do feel like mid-cuff length is slightly making you look stocky, then just go for delicate shoes and higher heels. It doesn't have to be very high but preferably delicate, that would be slightly narrower. If it's a long dress, looks stunning on them. Sometimes very long summer dresses, especially with huge sleeves, they remind us of that boho style, that 70s style. Boho style is famous for its unstructured and very soft silhouettes. Normally, for dramatic classics, silhouette would better be slightly, slightly more structured, so in this case, just check for how many drapes it has. If this dress has lantern sleeves, big bouffant skirt, loads of drapes, you might feel like you are lost in that amount of fabric, especially if it's not in contrasted color with your skin, especially if it has that watercolor blended patterns on it. Contrast is still better for you, so if you want to choose something like that, just choose something in contrasted color and with cinched waist, so it would not be too wide here. But still,
Still, better if it would not have lantern sleeves or it would be slightly narrow around your waist and preferably not have so many drapes, then it will be good. Straight dresses, straight long dresses, straight shirt dresses, rib knit dresses, all that is gonna look stunning on you. On rib knit dress, again, it's a little bit better if it's thicker fabric and maybe even one size up because it's better when it's lying on your body, lying on your skin and not stretched around it. High-waisted dress, it depends on many things. Some high-waisted dresses can look very disproportionate if they create off-color blocks, if the bottom part starts with loads of different kinds of ruffles or drapes or big ruffles, if it widens the body too much or if it's narrow. It's hard to say, you need to see this certain dress. But just in general, again, if it's super wide, especially around the waist area, that's gonna look bulky on you. Just choose something that is narrower, even if it has some drapes, that's fine. It's better when it's same color rather than it's color blocked, so top part, which is shortened, would be different color. That can create some disproportionate feeling for you, but again, it depends on its color and its fabric and pattern, so many things matter. Just check if you look bulky in it if not then you're good to go low waisted dress also great if the bottom part again not super voluminous if it's a little bit more on a narrower side it goes down that looks amazing let's look at something that doesn't look as good on them something too soft too unshaped too thin fabric that drapes super easily but again it depends on a certain piece so if we imagine some pieces that have all those things together in one piece then it can disbalance dramatic classics. But remember that you can actually rock any piece. It's just sometimes you might need some additions, some contrasted accessories, some certain shoes for that kind of a garment. So just to balance your outfit so that would fit you more. And other things that don't look as good on them, two sleek dresses, bodycon dresses with very very thin cotton. That looks cheap on them, it doesn't give them anything, any elegance. But again, if you're wearing it underneath something else, that might look very good. For example, in summer you're wearing this very very sleek dress and on top you're wearing short dress that is opened or long short. That might look very good. Another thing that might not look very good on them is two high-waisted short dresses and A-line dresses. It might look like you're wearing your daughter's dress. Something too grungy is just not their vibe. Something too severe and a loads of big avant-garde shapes and patterns. It just ruins their natural symmetry and balance that they have in their body. It's just too noisy for them. We get distracted. Also something too weird in proportions. Again, same reason. It messes up with their symmetry. Something too oversized or bulky normally grabs away their elegance. Now, if we're gonna talk about skirt and top, pretty much same rules as about dress. Much safer for you is to choose a skirt that would be whether pleated or more narrow looking, more sharp, slightly more elongated, and if it's short, then preferably it would be slightly structured and vertical, as opposed to trapeze, a-line skirt, or too roughly, too girly. If top and the skirt have different colors, that's amazing, especially if you're choosing two different but very precise bold patterns, for example stripes, which look very good on dramatic classics, of course, and polka dot, or something interesting on the bottom. Floral patterns also would look great on them, but choose florals that look more contrasted in bolder colors, rather than two watercolor blend. Olivia Munn here, she's a dramatic classic, so she's wearing an amazing combination with this stripy top and that red skirt. These two pieces fit her. They are quite narrow. They look balanced on her body. They give that beautiful, sharp contrast and they look classic still. Just because patterns look great, those colors look amazing on her particularly. And here, I don't think that is a good example for dramatic classics because here we can see not balanced shape, contrasted, bright. Yes, but I think colors don't match. I think it's too severe. Patterns are not classic enough. And the shape is not very structured, so from my viewpoint, that is not the best. And as I just said five seconds ago, stripes look amazing on dramatic classics. Choose that classic Venice Italian stripe. Choose that French style stripe, that regular size, white blue, white black, white red. All that is gonna be perfect for you. If we talk about top and bottom, for example, pants, jeans, shirts. Here we can have top, blouse, shirt or cami top. If we talk about t-shirt, it's essential that they have t-shirt that is made with thick cotton, not very sleek on them, so you can size up and that would keep it shape. It should be well ironed, that would be the best. Now let's go to jeans. Any jeans would be great for them, except for maybe two ripped jeans. I don't recommend ripped jeans to anyone just because I don't like them, but just in general, natural body types look a little bit better with ripped jeans than dramatic classics. Dramatic classics are still very structured, so anything that is too untidy 
normally makes them look not elegant enough. They need everything kind of perfectly stitched, perfectly made, something that keeps it shape, ironed. So straight jeans, tube jeans, wider jeans, even mom jeans would look great. Something too baggy, too relaxed and too ripped, I would not recommend personally. If we talk about pants, I would not recommend something with too rounded butt. I would still go for something sleeker here or just something more precise. And if it has some drapes here, preferably it would not be drapes, it would be just pleats something that would be more sharp and flat. Any kind of trousers and pants would look amazing on you. Shortened pants and trousers also would look great if they keep its shape. Leggings. Leggings are great for yoga, for sports, for something like that, but not for a casual look. And also leggings that have some noisy prints on them and very colorful. It just doesn't look elegant on them. Just in general, pants with loads of prints not look elegant or it's a bit harder to style to look elegant. So in this case, what I recommend, if you still want to go for pants with crazy pattern just go for something very structured on top don't tuck it in just let it be straight here preferably that would not be too long otherwise it will look very slouchy on you so it would be great if your top part is not very long and it would have quite stiff outline on the bottom so it would be like a separate statement piece that would keep its shape because we need something very clean on top to balance that noisiness of the pants crop top looks okay if everything else is elongated because then it looks like it was done on purpose like this and it normally looks amazing on dramatic classics if everything is cropped and high-waisted cropped pants cropped top it would look like as if you placed your pants in a wrong place or as if you have very strange figure they can just make you look bigger or angular with that so in this case just go for regular waist pants longer pants or if you go for that crop top high-waisted pants then better if pants are very long they look amazing in two pieces outfits for example Example, same top same skirt same print on top on the bottom or same color top on the bottom if they mix too many bright colors on them it might not look very elegant on them especially those bright neon colors or some dramatic classics with some certain coloration they can cheapen their look but if they go for same color on top on the bottom sometimes that looks like a suit and that gives them more elegance more thought through outfit just more altogether more uniform looking they look great with patterns that are contrasted and precise size and more or less classic not super huge not super tiny they don't look very good with too muddy or too watercolor blended patterns it is very noisy for them normally if they're wearing shorts shorts are best when they're made like suit trousers they can be knee length they can be higher or even very short but maybe not super super short I don't recommend denim shorts with ripped ends that normally doesn't look elegant on them and even vulgar a little bit if you're choosing denim shorts choose shorts with precise ends also what is great for you is when you're wearing shorts you're wearing top on top of the shorts elongated top or elongated vest that normally looks better on dramatic classics dress and sneakers normally looks great on them and about dresses I already said about sneakers and about shoes it's best when they choose something timeless elegant and a little bit more on expensive side or at least it would look a little bit more expensive anything from flat shoes to high heels narrow and sharp sandals look better on them rather than big and too wide or chunky wedge platforms can look amazing I actually recommend you to check some pictures on Pinterest of French style French summer style something like this and just check their shoes because it's very very elegant looking and it's very classic of course if you're choosing ballet flats it depends on what you're wearing on top here if you're wearing everything quite sleek and narrow for your body then you're good to go like that normally don't choose soft flats of course it doesn't look good on anyone choose those classic belly flats these chanel ones for example they're amazing contrasted two colored shoes they are quite famous though many people are wearing them but you can also try them it's very dramatic classic and it can freshen any outfit for you because it has two contrasted colors so if you are going for something monochromatic that will always give that freshness to you and again if you're wearing belly flats in a dress just check for if the dress has more buffon skirt which ends in the middle of cuffs this is when you might feel like you look stocky slightly squarish and lower to the ground so in this case I recommend you whether wear narrow wedge platform shoes that can lift you up a little bit and make your legs look more narrow especially in the beige color and the color of your skin that can save that buffon situation with your skirt but if you want to wear dress and belly flats I recommend you to wear a dress that would be more structured narrow to your body whether with waist or without waist it doesn't matter and if you feel like it's not dragging you down you can definitely go for that all right that's it thank you so much for watching guys See you soon. Bye.